I'm here at the National Press Club. We just finished a, a news conference with Congressman John Conyers, the ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee. He talked about the importance of Congress now taking steps to make it harder for dangerous people to get guns. He talked about his sense that the NRA really isn't as powerful now as it used to be. Uh, he talked, first of all, about how anytime you fight for something good, it takes years. And he says that when you have committed people that are fighting, you can get things done. He also mentioned that uh, with uh, some of the losses that the Democratic Party he took uh, in 2010, it weakened, in effect, uh, the uh, NRA caucus of, of Blue Dog Democrats, and that helps the Democrats deal with the issue. He also talked about reaching out to Republicans and how he's working with Republicans to get Republican support for the things that need to be done. Newsweek magazine had a great article that talks about the politics of gun control. It's really an issue now that uh, uh, when you look at what Dick Cheney is saying, supporting restrictions on the assault clips, when you look at what Justice Scalia said, saying, that, uh, that while you can't have gun bans, you can't have this anything goes mentality that the NRA pushes. When you look at what Mayor Bloomberg and the mayors across the country are doing, what Carolyn McCarthy and Congressman Conyers are doing, and I think when you combine this kind of talk with the fact that President Obama, for the first time in his presidency, has addressed the issue of gun violence in detail, the most complete statement from the White House in over a decade dealing with gun violence, I think we're turning the corner on this issue. We can reduce gun violence in this country. We can prevent gun violence in this country, and it's going to take you talking to your elected officials to make sure we get this done.